there's a major red flag that could be waving in your face the moment you sit down in a car dealer, and you're about to find out what it is. It involves dealer Wi-Fi. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homer Guy, and author of Is That The Best You Can Do? This video brought to you in part by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of The Homer Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. Check the merch shelf below if you want to get one of these cool shirts or hoodies like this one. Everyone wants to know, is there a simple test that helps you find out if you're sitting in a bad car dealership? Today, we're going to illustrate one of the sure signs that you're sitting in a dealership you immediately need to leave. You can arrive at this determination within minutes of sitting down in their showroom. Here's what you do. Ask the dealer if they have free Wi-Fi for customers. You might even notice that they have it without asking. Get the login if you need to, and then go on the internet using their Wi-Fi, not your cell data. Search for automotive-related sites that consumers use for doing research, like Kelly Blue Book or Carfax or Cars.com. Incredibly, crooked car dealers are blocking these sites from your view, or at a minimum, seriously throttling them down so they don't load in time. You won't be able to find the information you're looking for. Some will even do this to YouTube, so you can't find videos like this one right here and the many other great videos we've published to help car buyers. If they allow you on YouTube, they may block or throttle down creators like me or other YouTubers providing good information out there on how to buy a car without getting ripped off. And that should set off major alarm bells for you. Steve writes in our comment section, I noticed that when I use the dealer's free Wi-Fi, sites like Carfax and KBB are blocked. If I turn off the Wi-Fi and use cellular signal, I can get to those sites for additional homework. If you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, here's what's happening. When you visit a website and it doesn't load, your browser will try for about 30 seconds or so until it terminates the connection, after which it will return a error connection timed out message, indicating a communication problem. In Google Chrome, you might see this as, this site can't be reached, domain.com took too long to respond, or whatever the domain is called. It can look like this, or like this. Due to all the different web browsers, operating systems, and servers, the error can present itself a number of different ways, but most of them have the same or similar meaning. Error network changed and error connection refused are two very closely related errors. Dealers can defend this all they want to, but firewall settings, antivirus software, and a deliberately slow Wi-Fi link all contribute to the problem. If you brought it to their attention, they just pretend they know nothing about it. Because we didn't want to give them any wiggle room on this, we brought in a good friend of ours and a longtime expert in the MSP business that stands for Managed Service Provider for Computer Network Services, Tim Sutton from Sutton Computers. They have hundreds of clients they provide network services for, and they are not fooled by these kinds of actions. Here's Tim. Yes, sir. Hey, Tim, Kevin here. I want to talk about uh, this car dealer's free Wi-Fi. So okay. we've been getting reports from around the country that Kelly Blue Book, Cars.com, Carfax, connections like this, when a customer is sitting right in the showroom floor, they're not able to connect to these sites. So if they're on the dealer's free Wi-Fi, it tries to get into the site, 30 seconds later, time's out, and they get these communication errors. So I'm curious, from your years of experience, what do you think is happening here? Pretty simple. They're uh, content filtering. They have certain sites that they don't outright block the access to, but uh, limit the bandwidth, put it really, really low so that it appears that they will not load. Because there's so little bandwidth left, it just times out after a little bit. So you can actually restrict the bandwidth to given sites? That is correct. Uh, and the dealer ends up looking innocent here because the viewer actually doesn't get a blocked or denied signal on that, do they? No, they don't. It just looks like there's some kind of Wi-Fi problem. <laughs> All right, so what do you think the chances are that the IT guys at the dealership don't know that this is happening? Zero. Zero chance that they don't know this is happening. Correct. Well, they're the ones who made it happen. Awesome. Special thanks to Tim Sutton for joining us and providing a professional opinion on what's happening with sites that won't load at a car dealership. Now you know if you want to conduct a simple test to find out if you're sitting in a crooked car dealer, just ask for the free Wi-Fi link to get on the internet and start your searches. When the sites I mentioned are gone or won't load, it's time to get up and walk. You're sitting in a slimeball dealership 
and you need to leave immediately. Final note, just because it didn't stop you from seeing these car sites doesn't mean you found one of the good guys. It's just a good indication. They could still present a lot of other challenges for you, so don't fail to do your homework. However, blocked or throttled down sites on free Wi-Fi is a clear signal you found one of the bottom dwellers when it comes to honesty. All right, if you appreciated the heads up we just gave you today, consider subscribing to the channel and giving us that big thumbs up. Leave a comment below, include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and family and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you have suggestions for future videos, put your ideas in the comment section below. You notice we often produce videos from questions post on our channel by our viewers and we'll always have your back when it comes to more great content. Thanks everyone for coming back. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.